this uh, video we are going to talk about one more uh, uh, technology which people are using to implement the logical equations called as pseudo n mass design so what do we mean by pseudo n mass n mass in the sense that you have only the pull up pull down network okay there is no something called as pull up network and pull down network in complementary cmos like so in complementary cmos if you if you have seen this you got both pull up network and pull down network right uh, the problem here is if you are using an n input logic that is if you are going to implement an n input uh, uh, logical boolean function you have to use two n number of transistors right pull down network also you have to use n number of transistors pull up, pull up network also will need the same amount of transistors so you are the number of transistors will uh, increase and the area will also be increasing that's i told you before area power and uh, speed they, those are the three crucial factors uh, uh, in uh, in designing the vlsa circuits right so the area is more area is more in case of complementary cmos circuit in case of complementary cmos circuit that's why we prefer pseudo n mos design okay so let me explain the pseudo n mos design where you will have only the uh, pull down network so the design will look like this okay this is the pull down network and there is no pull up network the pull up network is replaced by a single transistor whose gate is grounded the pull up network is replaced entire pull up network is replaced by only a single pmos irrespective of the logic okay whatever logic you are implementing if you are using 10 input uh, boolean function not a problem if you are trying to implement a 10 input boolean function means you can give all the 10 inputs in the pull down network in the pull up network there is always only one transistor only one cp mos okay whose gate is grounded what do i mean by gate is grounded guys when you ground the gate you are applying logic zero to the gate right uh, gate is nothing but logic zero so you are applying logic zero to the gate means this uh, pmos transistor is always on okay what do i mean by always on there is no control over the pmos transistor guys it is always on okay it is always on means there is no uh, there is no specific much significance in this okay so that's why this is called as pseudo n mos pseudo means what pseudo means something a false something i could say i could call this completely n mos but that is again wrong why because there is a pmos transistor only one transistor i'm using that is why this is called as pseudo n mos i cannot call this uh, completely n mos because of that one transistor i call this pseudo n mos because that one transistor also is not working as a pmos it is always on so it is again a short only a beautiful short between this 5 volt and the pull down network that's it okay no way you can give inputs to this uh, pmos transistor right so there is always an output that you can take here right so advantage is the area is reduced that's the advantage because you are using only one transistor right so if you are implementing an n input uh, uh, boolean function you need only n plus one transistors right n transistors in the pull down network and one transistor in the pull up network which is nothing but the pmos transistor right okay so if i want to implement the logic let us say y equal to ab plus c the whole bar right ab plus c the whole bar i will design the pull down network only you know that uh when you are connecting a and b in series means i mean when you are connecting when you are implementing in and operation the n mos transistors will be in series so a and b will be in series okay and do you know that it is in parallel with c so parallel connection means you have to make a connection like this an n to n connection so it will be connected like this that's it the output will be y equal to a and b parallel with c that's it a and b or with c so a and b is here parallel with c is here so y is equal to a and b c and in the pull, pull up network you have only one transistor that's it whatever be the circuit inside the pull down network there is only one transistor in the pull up network which is also grounded so it is always on it is always on so always the output will be pulled up whenever you make the conditional inputs as zero the outputs will be pull down occasionally for example if i am making all as zero means the output will be one 
if I am making all as 1 means the output will be 0 because it's inverting, right? If I am making all as all the inputs as 1, the output will be 0. In that case, it will be pulled down occasionally. Otherwise, it will stay in logic 1 only. So, that is again an uh, advantage for uh, pseudo NMOS. Okay. One more thing you have to note here is this pseudo NMOS design, pseudo NMOS design, it comes under a category called as ratioed logic ratioed logic okay what do i mean by ratioed logic the output voltage the output voltage that you can observe here okay we are taking it in logic one that is fine okay we are taking this output as logic one that is perfectly fine what is logic one actually it can be from 4 volt to 5 volt practically right so the output voltage whatever we are getting it can be logic one or logic zero we don't know but whatever we are getting that depends on the ratio of that depends on the ratio of the width of the p mass transistor to the width of the n mass transistor what do we mean by the width uh, see the transistor if i have drawn i shown you something called as a channel right so there is a source there is a drain and in between there is a channel formation right through which the current conduction can happen the width of this channel for p mass to the width of the channel of the n mass the ratio the ratio is very important so output voltage depends on that so that's why this is called as ratioed logic this is one idea you have to keep in mind so if you want to uh, adjust the output voltage if, if some cases it may not be perfectly working you have to adjust the width of p mass and n mass transistor that is again an advantage of this you can easily adjust uh, the width and you can make it uh, make the output to be more uh, static and to be more precise right Thanks a lot.